Hey there everyone, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. I think I'm blocking my light. Uh, I wanted to do an Ideas in the Shower episode again, and this is going to be a real quick one because I have to jump on a coaching call. I'm actually back-to-back calls today. But the thought I had this morning in the shower is um, a couple things. First, it's about your website. Second, it's about your email marketing because your website is your most important marketing tool. I'm going to get some more light in my face. Uh, <laughs> that's not good. And um, please comment if you're there so I can say hi. Uh, your website should be your most important marketing tool, yet most people, most entrepreneurs, are not using it effectively. And you don't have opt-in boxes, you don't have the right sales copy, you don't have call to action, you don't have forms to fill out before you take people to your online scheduler. Bad, bad, bad. Um, so get with the program and really get some automation and some systems on your website, number one. But number two is look at the back end. You've got to update those plugins. You've got to uh, update your site, especially if it's WordPress. You've got to constantly be updating your website. So if you haven't looked at your website in a while and neither has your web designer, you really want to take a look at that because it's so critical to um, making sure that hackers don't get in. And that's one reason why I wanted to talk to you about email marketing today too, is because a lot of my clients, including myself, are having problems. Hey Wendy, hey Eric, um, hi Chi, thank you. Um, with the emails, a lot of people are getting subscribers to their emails. You might wanna take a look at your list. A lot of people are getting subscribers with either uh, one name in the name field and a totally different email address that doesn't look like it belongs at all with that person. Like James is the name and then it's like Susan Jones is your email address. So you want to be really careful because those are probably spammers or the spy bots or I don't even know what they call them anymore. I call them spy bots on your, <laughs> they go to your website and they fill out all your forms, right? And you need forms on your website, but you might want to take a couple security measures to prevent spammers from opting into the forms on your website, like using a CAPTCHA box in your opt-ins, as well as um, uh, having the double opt-in, okay? So if you're using MailChimp or Constant Contact or Shopping Cart of some sort, usually they have a way now to do a double opt-in. And it's not technically against the law not to have it in the U.S. Um, they do require it in Canada, or if you if you get subscribers from Canada, you need to have it. But um, it's really important now because of all the people getting access to your website. So keep the website up to date with doing your updates, making sure you change your password often, and things like that. Keep the security up to date. Keep